Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Salima Ali Khan and I'm a children's book author and illustrator. Um, but this channel is going to focus on my art. So I'm very excited. We're going to have um, things like speed draws. This is called a mold colored horse in German. A tutorial. Okay guys, today we're working on the dreaded perspective. Materials and techniques. You cannot tell me that that does not look like a spiny sea urchin creature. Drawn chats and a couple of other fun series that I have in mind. So, okay, so I think what I'm going to do, the way I'm going to structure some of these process videos is I'm going to have um, the speed draw first and they're gonna be sped up to between one and two minutes. And then we're going to do it again, but more slowly. I'll be letting you know sort of my thought process and the materials that went into the creation of each picture. So um, that is gonna be, I think, how I'm going to structure these process videos at first. Um, and then again, the, the other stuff is going to be uh, structured a little bit differently. So we'll try that format, we'll see how that works. And I'm excited to take you along on the journey with me as we um, explore art and all that art has to offer because it's pretty, pretty cool. So I want to let you know beforehand that this is what you're about to see is the first video that I recorded um, that I ever did a time lapse with and I still had a lot to learn at that point. That was about a month ago um, and so the video quality, I don't think it's the best. I think I didn't understand a lot about lighting at that point um, but I still think you can get a gist of what I was trying to do. So. Um, Enjoy and just know that the lighting quality is going to improve for sure. So let's get started and we will see how this works. And I can hear my cat in the background right now protesting. Thank you and see you soon. So now we're going to get into actually talking about the picture. Um, so first of all, so what I use is um, 140 pound cold press watercolor paper, Arches brand, and I'm probably going to do an entire video about um, just the materials I use. And then I'm using um, a combination of Daniel Smith, mostly Daniel Smith watercolors and some Rembrandt in there. Um, 
And I'm realizing that I started once I already had the sketch in place and the, as well as the ink drawing over the sketch. Um, and I will in the future probably clue you in, like I'll let you see the sort of agony of, of doing the sketch itself. The sketch is everything, the, meaning the drawing underneath. That's the bones of everything. If the sketch isn't working, nothing is going to work. So that usually takes the longest, honestly. That's usually the, the most difficult thing to wrestle with is getting the sketch right. And even when you think you've done everything you can, there's still a lot that as you're working when you're done that you're like, ugh, I wish this were better. Um, but this was super fun to draw. I mean, there is nothing like drawing reptiles like nothing like they are so much fun to draw because they've got this gorgeous that leathery hide that that you know scaly reptilian hide that lends itself to so much beautiful shading and these ridges and wrinkles and edges and it's just an illustrator's dream so like when i was researching like turtles the sort of their i don't even know what that would be called and under their throat I feel like I don't think gullet is the word I'm looking for, um, but something like that, that sort of area that's like their Adam's apple almost um, is such a beautiful um, area. And so, and then I realized too, that a lot of turtle shells, or I should say tortoises, because the big ones are tortoises, um, that a lot of them have you see how I've sort of outlined the hexagonal marks on the shell. Usually, um, or a lot of times they don't have like the light part inside and then the outline on the outside. Usually it's the opposite. Like they've got the darker part inside, but oh well, it worked for these purposes. So um, yeah, it was so much fun to draw this. I did, I spent a lot of time on the sketch. I mean, several days, not all day, every day, obviously, but and sometimes I find that really helps. Like sometimes I find it really helps to spend a ton of time on the sketch because the, and, and to spend maybe like an hour or two every day on the sketch for several days, because when you go back and look at the previous day's work, it's easier to see mistakes. Um, cause when you spend too long on something, you can overdraw which, um, like too much concentrated time at one time on something you can overdraw, which, um, it's tricky because, you know, a lot of times illustrators work on condensed timelines where you have no choice, but to do a lot of work in a small amount of time. So you have to kind of learn to manage that. But I think it does help to spend that time really sort of savoring working on the sketch and just getting that really right before you start painting. I find when I do that and I, once I start painting, it's a relatively straightforward, easy process once I start painting. So yeah, so you'll see. I mean, we'll go over, we'll have tutorials and stuff about um, the things I'm learning as well about how to more efficiently and better paint and shade. A lot of my technique right now involves, um, you know, I don't necessarily do everything wet in wet, meaning I don't wet the entire paper first and then go to town. I, as you can see, did not do that here. And as you can see with her shirt, what I'm doing is a lot of times with something like clothing, it's, it really depends on contrast. Contrast is everything. With illustration, contrast is so important, meaning that right here, I've just done like a pale lavender for her shirt. I kind of wet it with a lot of pale lavender and then just added some darker spots where the folds of the clothing come together. And that creates just like a really nice visual for, um, for, the clothing and, and for a lot of other stuff. I mean, I did a similar technique with like the, um, the under throat area for the tortoise, just a lot of contrast. Um, so I was noticing as I was drawing that her head is way too big. That is one thing that became very clear to me. Somehow I missed that in the sketch stage and realized as I was drawing that her head is just astronomically large and would need to be shrunken down in Photoshop. Which, um, and I mentioned this in other videos as well, but I don't like relying on Photoshop. I like to make, get it as finished as absolutely possible without Photoshop so that my editing in Photoshop is very, very minimal. 
I'm very grateful I have Photoshop, um, but I I prefer to do it that way. And I'm not gonna say too much more about Photoshop right now because I do go into that more in another video. But so again, I'm a sort of a sucker for kids on adventures with animals. When I initially drew this, I did not have her little brother on the back there. I kind of added him last minute on a whim. And that's always very tricky if you haven't done that in the sketch stage while you're painting to see if that works out. But I did tell myself that if he did not work out, I could just remove him in Photoshop. So fortunately, I didn't have to do that. So, and as you can see, the lighting is not ideal. Um, you'll see the finished picture in a minute and the contrast between the light and sort of color balance in the finished picture versus this, you can definitely see that I for instance, didn't understand that I needed to light a lot of it from the left side since I'm right-handed so that you don't see the shadow constantly. But see, and then I'm going back in here. Um, at that point, I think I was using a watercolor pencil. So a lot of what I do is first I'll do it with watercolor. And then I add a lot of those little contrast pieces with watercolor pencil like I'm doing here. And the brown watercolor pencils are a lot of times my favorite. Since I use so many earth tones, the browns are really handy to go back in and just sort of add um that contrast and those delicious reptilian wrinkles so it's super fun and yeah we will definitely do a tutorial or a we'll go through watercolor pencils and what they can do and stuff so and even just adding a little bit of contrast like look at that just a little bit of contrast to the shirt to the skin deepens things so much it deepens things so, so much. So I do prefer when a painting is feels pretty finished and then when I go in and just add those little touches of contrast that it feels, um, it's just basically tweaking it and adding little finishing touches. So yeah, this was super fun to do and I, I ended up liking it so much that I used it for my YouTube banner. And it's very easy for me to have fun with a picture if I imagine kids on an adventure. That's like a really handy ingredient to make a drawing super, super fun. So, and at this point, yeah, just adding a bits of gold, gold touches, those little last tiny last minute things. So here's the finished picture. So as you can see, the color balance is way better. I shrunk her head, which needed some shrinking in Photoshop. So, and all I did, the only other thing I did in Photoshop is I think I added a little more of a blue hue to her shirt and shorts, and that was it. So I felt very glad I didn't have to do more. So yeah, that was the process for that picture. Oh, and I did add a little bit to the shell I'm seeing. Not too much though. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm so glad you went on that journey with me. Um, and oh, that's me. Somebody's, somebody's shouting, hold on. This is Esme. She, as you can hear, she's very, she's very angry at life in general. Hi guys, I hope you got something out of that. I hope it was enjoyable. Um, if you liked what you saw, you could like and subscribe down below. And um, I will see you back here next week with another video. I do hope the one that you just saw gave you a little bit of a spark of inspiration, if nothing else. So um, again, thanks for coming on that journey with me and I will see you next week. Bye. Am I doing this right? <laughs>